What is going on traders? Welcome back to The Traveling Trader. Happy Thursday to you. So today I wanted to talk about Bitcoin, obviously. We'll talk about some of the trades that we made in the crypto and the traditional markets. And I'll talk about the traditional markets as well and go over Aurora Cannabis and why it fell 9% today and whether there are some buying opportunities there. But before I start, if this is the first time on the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and let us get started. So looking at Bitcoin, most people will start with the Bitcoin chart, but I wanted to start with the Bitcoin volatility today. Why is that? Well, because volatility continues to drop. The 30-day estimate continues to drop. And what does this mean? Well, it means that Bitcoin is trading in a very tight range. And we'll corroborate this on the chart here in a second. But if you look at the Bitcoin volatility over time, you'll see that trading at 3% volatility is historically low. This is year to date. So since the beginning uh, in January 2019, and we're trading now at volatility that we saw similar levels of in back in May. And as you know, June was the time that we had this uh, crazy rally here that took us from you know when bitcoin was still in the six six seven thousand range all the way up to fourteen thousand so i'm not saying that bitcoin volatility is telling you that something is going to go up it just means that you know when volatility is low and it's getting ever so low that you should expect a big move soon especially when volume is low as well right you expect low volatility low volatility low volume periods to then be accompanied by a big move thereafter because what happens when there's low volume is prices are susceptible to major changes so the minute that either the bulls or the bears take a grip or take a handle of the market and they then can easily drag the market in the direction that you know each group is going whether the, the there's more bulls than bears or more bears than bulls because there is low volume right so that is bound to happen here and you'll you could see on bitcoin's chart that you know the last over two weeks has been trading in this tight range here now we did successfully short bitcoin a while back when it hit you know, uh last week when it hit around ten thousand eight hundred ten thousand nine hundred and wrote it all the way down and yesterday i saw that bitcoin was having trouble getting above the 100 day moving average so i did put in a little short here with a tight stop limit at around 10,300. it did hit my stop limit and the short did not play out however bitcoin is still in this uh rather tenuous zone where it doesn't know what it wants to do if you want access to the trade alerts by the way where i send out all these levels link is in the description you also get access to the stock trade alerts and i'll go over some of the wins that we had in a few minutes but yeah looking at bitcoin if i had to guess on a pattern um or a direction i should say based off of the pattern this pattern is rather bearish right you have a stable support line where we retested three times at around you know 90 9100 9200 and you have declining highs this is a bearish pattern and bitcoin is having a lot of trouble getting above these simple moving averages the 100 and the 50 right it's having a ton of trouble here with minimal volume so the the inclination or the the more probable move is that we'll see a decrease at least to the support level here back at 9200 eventually now obviously we could break to the upside but that is going to take a lot more work and a lot more volume and with binance halting trading today for for us traders right for those of you that didn't know if you're in the us you can't trade on binance starting today so that would ostensibly decrease the volume quite a bit because the us is one of the most voluminous uh, countries by by trading volume so you know it, you would be you would be hard pressed to see a major rally from here based on all those circumstances now if backed does get approved in the next few weeks you could see that you know driving momentum in the market again when you have low volume you're susceptible to all of these impulsive moves that the market can make so something like backed you know yeah i don't think it's it's as huge of a deal as people are making it out to be and i actually think that it's mostly priced in to the market like this move to fourteen thousand um definitely has a little bit of that information built in however if it does get officially announced there will undoubtedly be a rally a short-term rally if backed does get officially announced so 
who knows what could happen you know it could get announced by the time that we reach the apex of, of this triangle but if that aside you know i think all circumstances point to at least more descending price action to the support level here so looking at the total crypto market cap you'll see that also the total crypto market cap is having trouble getting above the 50 day moving average which is this orange line and we do see the mini death cross here between the 50 and the 100 and once again you do have this bearish pattern in the head and shoulders that has yet to be confirmed until we see a break uh, below the neckline so all things considered i think the more probable move is a move down and currently on bitcoin um i'm in a sit and wait period to see what happens when we do retest this resistance here there is a potential uh low risk short that one can can engage in if we do hit this resistance level here and again i'll be sending those levels out in the trade alerts all right that is bitcoin and then looking at a successful trade alert that we've had recently was on eos btc uh, we shorted eos as soon as it hit this resistance level that it saw back here in august 14th and made about 30 percent on this trade as it declined back down below the 21 ema this was a pretty easy trade for us to see and i did send this out in the trade alerts all right let's take a look at the traditional markets so the markets have rebounded based on the fact that trump delayed some of the tariffs uh, aimed at China and that, that the China-US trade talks are going to resume sometime in early October. That is enough to push the market up a bit and rebound. The S&P is back over 3,000. Uh, it's up half a percent. Dow's up half a percent. NASDAQ is up about two-thirds of a percent. So a nice little rebound there in stocks. A couple of trades that we made today, actually this trade we made a while back, so I don't mind sharing it with you guys, but to you, we bought it at just shy of $14. It is back up to about 20 bucks now over the 21 EMA. Uh, this is up almost 40% for us at this point. And then UWT, which is the oil ETF that we keep swing trading, fell back into our buy zone and we are already up about 3% today on UWT. Looking at Aurora Cannabis, this is one of the most talked about stocks right now because this is obviously a pot stock, a marijuana stock that was inflated along with a lot of the other ones. They didn't really have the financials to back it, but there was a lot of hype in this industry. And you see that, you know, you don't, uh, sorry, <laughs> ACB, Aurora Cannabis, had this descending triangle here and it broke and confirmed the descending triangle broke to the downside and now we are having trouble getting above the 50 ma we reached there got rejected and we are now back under this trend line which was the original continuation trend line of this descending triangle so am i going to be buying aurora cannabis here uh to be honest i don't think so there is clear support that you see here there's a clear support level where it formed this double bottom bouncing off of the, this uh, near the same level back in august 2018 and then around december 2018 so based on the fact that aurora cannabis has had terrible financials a very bad earnings report and the volume is continuing to decline i would venture to buy it at around the same level that we saw this double bottom bounce off of right so at around uh, I would say between 450 and 470 is where I'm looking to buy back Aurora Cannabis. I, I do think that it's overvalued. Now you see the mini death cross happening between the 100 and the 200 MAs and the fact that we were so easily rejected from the 50-day moving average. So I'm not looking at buying Aurora Cannabis just yet. I will wait to see if we can get to this level at least uh, that we saw this double bottom bounce off of last year. All right, guys, short little video for you. That is it for this video. If you want access to the trade alerts, link is in the description. I send out all my trade alerts for stocks, options, crypto, etc. So sign up if you want access to that. It'll cost you less than a cup of coffee a week, and it is well worth it. You get to engage with our trading community and talk about strategy, trades, etc. So sign up. Link is in the description. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Stay safe out there, traders. Peace.